here I have my little next station running uh, next step 3.1 and it's running off of a um, Zulu SCSI card. Um, I've had good luck with the SCSI to SD card so far and this is the one that's usually uh, in here works perfectly fine but they're getting more expensive harder to find over time so I thought I'll give uh, the Zulu SCSI a try and in this video I will show you various ways of getting that configured with images and what to look out for and, and how to get that configured correctly. So stay tuned. I used to run this next station turbo color off of a SCSI 2SD, uh, revision 5.1, I believe. Um, and it's working perfectly fine. I virtually never have to use the extra power, it just comes off the SCSI bus, so you only need the data cable connected. However, those boards are often out of stock and seem to be getting more expensive. Um, on the rabbit hole computing website, which is what I use to order them here uh, in the States. They're frequently out of stock as they are right now. And it costs 99 bucks versus the Zulu SCSI, which is this one here, um, is only 61 bucks and plenty in stock. So, I decided to experiment uh, with a Zulu SCSI board to see um, how I can prepare this, how can I use it in the next station, and I'll run you through some of those um, steps. So a brief uh, introduction into what to do with the SD card, uh, which I have inserted here into my MacBook. Uh, first of all, you want to make sure that the um, uh, file system is correct and FAT32 is exactly what you want. Now, if you don't have that, um, you can easily, and this is using um, disk utility on, on Mac OS, erase it with the correct settings. However, it's important to figure out which one you erase, and I'll show you exactly uh, what I mean. So if you're going down to the actual volume of no name and then click uh, erase. Yeah. Come on, work. There we go. Um, you can pick, let's see. MS-DOS, FAT, or XFAT, I believe works too, but you cannot pick the option to make this uh, master boot record. So what you have to do is you go to the top level of it, uh, and then click Erase, and now you're able to set the master boot record and the correct file system. And off you go. Now, the first and easiest way to get uh, an image, a working image, onto the SD card is uh, I've downloaded the WinWorld um, installation of an existing uh, image that can be used with the previous uh, emulator, and that is the image that you would usually use DD to transfer that to an SD card, but uh, what you can do here is simply copy that over and then uh, you'll rename that uh, to a supported um, naming convention for the Zulu SCSI. The copy has finished and so what you now do is simply rename it according to the naming scheme for the Zulu SCSI and both an IMG or an HDA ending will work. HD for hard drive, one for SCSI ID one. Uh, and now you can eject this and uh, plug it into the 
uh, Zulu SCSI and um, it will boot into a freshly installed version of Next Step. The other way I want to show you is um, by creating an empty disk image using DD. Now, if you're using previous, the Next Step emulator, um, to initialize the disk and install Next Step on it, it doesn't matter what block size you pick here, as long as the parameters here add up to whatever um, kind of size of image that you want. So in this case here, I am going to create an image hd1.hda. Now I'll put the exact text into the description. And hd1 hda has a rough size of uh, 2 gigabytes now. Um, so there's there's two ways uh, that you can use uh, this empty image file. One is initialize it with previous. The second one is just copy that empty image file onto the SD card and then proceed to install next step with a boot floppy and CD-ROM on your actual next station. That I'll show you later. First uh, let's dive into uh, using previous to initialize the disk and uh, install an operating system. So I've loaded up the previous emulator here and I have a pre-existing configuration to use. Now what I've done here is the empty image um, that I just created, make this a little bigger, um, is SCSI disk zero. Uh, it doesn't matter that it doesn't match the ID of the image. Uh, that's only for the Zulu SCSI later. I've um, extracted a CD-ROM image, installation image, uh, 68K, uh, Motorola 68K basis. And then I also added the boot floppy here on the floppy disk drives, the boot uh, image. And you probably know where to get ROM files from. I don't need to tell you that. Uh, as system, I've set a next color next station color. So we will boot and then it will hopefully okay BFD for boot from floppy disk and that should kick off the installation process. It's now asking some basic questions like complete installation We'll say yes. Um, default uh, disk for the installation SD0A. We'll just confirm that. We do want to initialize before installing the software, yes. And then really do it, yes. So it should now initialize the drive. We've now arrived at the uh, start screen after the command line based installation where it's setting up the keyboard. So we'll shut down the machine here, um, copy over the hard drive image to the SD card, and then that should be exactly the same uh, screen that the next station will be booting into. So after shutting down the next step emulator, we'll have hda1.hda as the image file. That's where NextStep has been installed onto through the emulator. So all we'll do now is copy that across to the root directory. There is another directory on here of the SD card. And once that is complete and the card has been ejected, it'll be inserted into the Zulu SCSI um, card again. 
and uh, should get you started on the next station. So I stuck the SD card into my MacBook and used the same command I showed you earlier to create an empty uh, two gigabyte um, image file. It's called HDXA and uh, it's I already copied it over here onto the SD card. So now I'm just going to rename it and I'll give it um, SCSI ID 1 and then we'll eject that and move that back over to the next station. So here we are at the next station again with my SD card and the empty image. So that goes back in here. And I still have the CD drive. I'm going to turn on. And the boot floppy, which goes in the disk drive. And then hopefully this is the setup that uh, we know was working with a pre-configured image already. So let's turn this on and see if we can get next step installed that way. Scarcity error again. So let's figure out if we can get into the ROM monitor. So I had to reboot. Now we'll um, see if we can boot from the floppy disk. DFD. Off we go. And it hopefully recognizes both the um, SCSI ID1 hard drive and the CD drive for installation purposes. now at the installation screen. So complete installation. We'll just confirm those questions. SD0, we'll pick a default. Initialize, yes. Really do it, yes. And this is usually where I get an error. And installation failed. Cylinder group too large, 16 cylinders, maximum seven cylinders per group. That is a setting that I don't know how to change. So we'll have to figure that out. So I tried changing some settings in the Zulu SCSI uh, uh, configuration file. Um, what I did was look up the settings that you can put into an optional configuration file. And so I copied these ones here from um, a website that I will put a link up in the video, but that's borrowed from the SCSI 2 SD configuration. So I've commented everything out except enable SCSI 2 mode, and then the bytes per sector, sectors per track, and heads per cylinder settings as per that uh, other website. Now the first one, I don't know if that actually does anything because I did not find that in the official documentation, but it is in the SCSI 2SD uh, config. So that seems to be working so far. So we'll let this go, finish initializing the image and then try and install the operating system. I've used a simple text editor to create um, this configuration file, and this is uh, the file name here, zuluskasi.ini. Um, I have used Emacs. You can use any text editor that you want, as long as it stores it as just raw text and no formatting uh, added to it. And then you simply copy it into the uh, root directory of your SD card via an external SD card reader, and you should be good to go.
there we have it. Uh, next step installed via floppy and a CD-ROM on a blank uh, drive image on the Zulu SCSI device. You'll find most of the commands and the config settings that I mentioned in the video down in the description. Otherwise, enjoy and thank you for watching.